In this session, let us discuss about role of stakeholders in the e-waste management. Basically, there are four stakeholders in environmental management of the e-waste. They are statutory government regulatory bodies, producers, that means manufacturing units, recycler or recycling and collection units, and next one is consumers. Now let us see what are the role of these stakeholders. First one is statutory government regulatory bodies. Here the state pollution control board or central pollution control board play the vital role in the management of e-waste. The main role of the statutory body is to create the regulations and policies for e-waste management. Also, they can promote the public awareness about e-waste management and thereby educate the public. If any recycling unit or producer is not managing e-waste properly, then these government bodies have a right to put some penalty to the producer and thereby they can prevent the mismanagement of e-waste. Moreover, these government bodies can encourage the proper e-waste management by announcing some incentive to recycler or collector in the form of subsidy. These government bodies have a power to recommend the standard operating procedures for recycling of e-waste. Even uh, these bodies can control the usage of hazardous substance in electrical and electronic equipment by imposing some restrictions. Next stakeholders are producers or manufacturing units. In controlling the e-waste, producers can take certain measures. They can purchase recycled material and reuse them during manufacturing. They can set up some collection center to buy the old products or uh, they can announce some offer exchange on old products so that e-waste can be collected. The producers are also responsible to finance a system for meeting the cost of e-waste generated due to their product. Whenever they are manufacturing some products, the producers are responsible to get license from Pollution Control Board in accordance with the rules. They need to maintain the records regarding e-waste management and uh, follow the guidelines imposed by the government. The next stakeholders are recyclers. They have major role in managing the e-waste after collecting the e-waste, they need to dismantle the materials, sending them for recycling and have to manage scrap materials by certain process like incineration. They have to collect the e-waste from the collection centers. Whenever the collection centers properly manage the e-waste, they can announce some incentive to encourage that one. Like producers, the recyclers also have to register with government body. Further, they have to follow the regulations imposed by the government body from time to time. They are also responsible that there is no harm to the environment while storing, transporting and processing the e-waste. The fourth stakeholders are consumers. The consumers are users having the main role in the management of e-waste. They should have a self-awareness on how e-waste should be managed or else have to attend awareness program to get the knowledge. They need to submit the e-waste to the authorized collector so that they can have assurance that the e-waste will be processed properly. As a public, they can also set up an NGO with the objective to monitor and program the e-waste management. They are also responsible to monitor how e-waste is managed in their surrounding. If it is not managed properly, they are also having responsibility to bring the same to the authorized bodies. As a public, 
they can give proper awareness to the recyclers regarding guidelines safety measures etc